Hey everybody, it's the Zen Witch here. Got some tea. It's a shitty night. It's cold. <laughs> it's dark. It's rainy. And I'm here to do some unboxing for you. We are going to unbox an Oracle deck. And this deck is called Chicoli. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Chicoli Oracle, I guess I will call it. I don't know. Book and 32 cards. Look at that lovely. It's a new deck. This is from uh, Los Carabeo. Book and 32 cards. Nice box. And I just shot several unboxing tarot videos, and they're long. Because there's 78 cards, so I'm kind of looking forward to a short video with this. So here we have um, the book du mode, a la mode, in the fashion. Nicoletta Ciccoli, Oracle. Ciccoli. Ciccoli. Help. Illustrations, no, instructions by Lunea Weatherstone. So thank you. This is another deck that's putting the artist at the forefront, and I really... Really, really appreciate that. Art Burke by Nicoletta Chitola. And Lunea Weatherstone wrote the instructions. Los Carabeo 2016. So it's only three years old as of this filming here. And like all Los Carabeo, the book is one quarter as thick as it looks like it is because we have several languages. Okay, so um, let's look at the cards. The back is beautiful and floral. So you see there's a very specific aesthetic for this deck right off the bat. They're very soft, um, soft colors, soft lines. Um, they're dimensional, but there's a very distinct vibe when you look at this little girl, very Alice in Wonderlandish kind of thing. Oh, and we have only numbers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the book next to it. The images aren't going to be that big, but, you know, that's the way it goes because all we have is images and numbers, and I want to know what the names of these cards are. It's particularly, I mean, if it was Tarot, you, you have something, you have a frame of reference, but for this there isn't. Um, and I also apologize if there's rumblings on my mic here. I got a boom arm coming tomorrow. Yay. Okay. So this first card is called Denial. The world can be a mean, scary place. Sometimes you need to shut out all the ugliness and only give your attention to pleasant, pretty things, but you've taken it too far. So that each card has a name and a description here. Don't cover your ears and deny reality. When you're in denial about your problems and hope, they go away on their own. When you're in denial about your own problems and hope... All right. Um, oh my God, I can't read you guys. This is, and it's low pressure. We've, we're under way low pressure. I've got kind of a half a headache, that low pressure headache. And I feel like I can't think straight. Let me read this again. When you're in denial about your problems and hope they go away on their own, you may put yourself in danger. Even a small difficulty can easily become a real mess if you refuse to deal with it. Okay. Now, I don't I got to say I'm not sure I'm getting that from this card. I mean, I so this is very abstract. I'm looking at this girl with her her whole head is surrounded by flowers. That can be like, oh no, positive thinking, just positive thinking. That can be denial of what's going on. Okay, so I can relate to these. And then after the description, they have light and dark. Light is things are not nearly as bad as you fear. Don't exaggerate. Ooh, dark. Pain and fear are helpful tools that alert you when something is wrong. Don't ignore them. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Second card is distraction. And I'm not going to read through every one of these, but I'm going to read through a few of them because I'm fascinated now. Because I'm looking at, okay, distraction. She's got all these little birds on her skirt. 
and on her head. Let's see what this says here. The modern daily environment is chat is a chattering chaos of information and opinions. So the chattering chaos is those birds and her skirt is made of a bush. So she's kind of attracting these. Staying on top of it all is an impossible task, but many people keep trying nonetheless. The media pitches in to pluck away at your ability to focus. Your attention span is being whittled away by small diversions and endless electronic input. Ooh, is this modern? You've forgotten what it's like to operate on your own without sharing every thought and experience with others. These distractions are pecking at you like restless birds shoo them away. So they really do. Do relate the meanings to the images. I like it. Light. There are beautiful and necessary ideas fluttering around you trying to get your full attention. Dark is information addiction is insidious. Evaluate and correct your habits. Fuck yeah. All right. Number three is passivity. The light says you aren't helpless in this situation. However, tempting it may be. However tempting it may be to pretend so, I can't fucking understand English today. Jesus, you aren't helpless in this situation, however tempting it may be to pretend so. And there's a fight going on somewhere that will have repercussions for you. Okay, there's I could see the fight in the night, so I'm not going to read. Um, this is Vigilance. And like I said, you might not think that these... That these uh, really relate or depict vigilance, but they so far do an excellent job of describing and relating what they're saying, the message they're putting out to this particular image. Very good. Like this one, keep an eye on the situation, but don't do anything just yet. There will be time for action later and your energy will be needed then. So you look at this person, they're on a swing. She's on a swing. It's like, hang out. You can't do anything. Just swing. <laughs> Swing and be watchful. You'll have a better idea of what's going on if you can maintain an attitude of detached observation. Sweet. The light is keep your observations to yourself for the time being. She does kind of look introspective, like she's just sort of ruminating. There's no immediate danger, but the situation is changeable. That's the, the dark. Okay, gossip. Innocence. With a fish. I always associate innocence with fish. Okay. Then we have advice. No. Wrong. God. I skipped a page. Innocence. The next one is this is lamentation. And now we really see some fairy tale imagery here. And children's imagery. That's Humpty Dumpty she's grieving over. So lamentation, the eight is motivation, nine is happy place, okay, interesting, so the, the light and dark for the happy place one, light says everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to be, so feel free to rest and play. The dark, which I'm assuming would be a reverse meaning, everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to be, so you might as well rest and play. Nice. This is advice. To or from a snail. Advice is coming to you that will significantly change your perception of the situation. The light is if you don't understand what you're being told, ask for slow clarification. Dark, consider this your wake-up call. I really like these. Improvisation. And like I said, while it's not completely one-to-one -one intuitive here of what these things are illustrating, they do an excellent job of explaining them so that you could... So this would be a great deck because you internalize the meanings for these and they would be very easy to remember once you get the story that goes with the picture um but the people that you're reading for would not get it so if you're reading for somebody and you're coming off with these really great things and they're looking at the cards thinking where the fuck did she get that so that one is this one's called hello <laughs> oh hello is the first step toward understanding Talks about unexpected things coming your way. So, hello. <laughs> Maybe that's the way you say it. Light. The wonderful world of diversity is opening up to you. 
dark, examine any prejudices you may be harboring. This is wonderful because in this day when we do have, for somebody like me, who, yes, I'm a boomer, but I'm on the edge of the, I'm, I'm at the back end of the boomers. You know, I think I'm like right on the edge of when it was changing over. Um, because I show don't, I'd show don't. <laughs> so anyway, um, now, I mean, I did not, I wasn't aware of any trans people in my sphere when I was growing up and in my young adulthood. There might have been, I was not aware of them. Um, I was only aware of the mass media ones that got attention way back in the day, Christine Jorgensen, if anybody else is around my age. Um, and now, gender fluidity and gender non-binary gender the truth of it is is really out there and we're finding out all these wonderful new things and it really does take a plastic brain <laughs> it really does take the ability to change to survive in today not to survive but to be a good human being let's say it that way to be a good human being you have to be open to um, new information that's coming in because we don't know everything and we don't know everybody's reality. And um, this is a wonderful card for that about examining prejudices and being open to the diversity that's coming at you. 13 is isolation. And this is patronage. Patronage. So it's talking about patronage rather than charity. Somebody supporting you. Patronage says what you have to give is valuable. So it's talking about giving away and accepting. All right. And then we have, whoops, and I turned too many pages again. Uh, this is the call. Each person has a special calling, something they were born to do or be. Not everyone heeds that call, of course. You may have been avoiding yours for years. You may have created a comfortable life that doesn't make a lot of demands on you. Or you may be reluctant to try out your talents for fear of failing. A true calling can't be denied and yours is getting louder and louder. It might have something to do with your career, but it could just, uh, could just as easily have to do with matters of the heart or the arts or any of a million other ways you express who you are. The light says a seed of creativity is about to burst into bloom. The dark says something you are, you're already doing needs more dedicated attention. That's these kick as expedition. Story time. Retreat. She got the tentacles going on again. What's happening here? Let's see. Retreat. Oh, my. That took an unexpected turn, didn't it? Something that looked so inviting at first turned out to be much worse than you anticipated. You're absolutely right to run away, but watch where you're going. A calm, rational retreat will serve you better than careening wildly hither and thither. Don't rush from one bad situation into one that is even worse. There's no need to look back. Just leave it all behind you and plot your next move. Light, sometimes the bravest thing is knowing when to retreat. Dark, cowardly, cowardy. Oh, <laughs> the dark says cowardy, cowardy custard. <laughs> I am digging the shit out of this deck. Okay, management. Just the light and dark. You set a good example and inspire others to excellent. The dark is don't be a control freak. You need a rest. Those are perfect things that every manager needs to hear. Karma. Hmm. I, I, I'm sorry for reading so many of these, but they're just really good. Karma. Remember that thing you did? That thing you've always felt a bit guilty about? It's come back around. Just like you always knew it would, and there's no avoiding it this time. The good news is that you have an opportunity to clear your conscience and make amends. If, on the other hand, you are the one who has wronged, who was wronged, and you see someone else getting their karmic comeuppance, try not to gloat. It's satisfying to be sure, but let your satisfaction spring from a sense of restored balance, not vindictiveness. The light, remember, fate isn't the same as doom. The future looks good from here. Dark, be brave, and face the music. Wow. Consanguinity. Some people feel like family whether they share our blood or not, so this is about family. 
Light says make close affinity alliances in every realm of your life. The dark says don't let closeness turn into codependence. These are so current and so really pertinent. This is plenty. This is rescue. Help is on the way. Pay it forward. Who needs your help is the light. The dark is beware of pushy interference. Push back as needed. Wow. Strategy. Strategy. Gay, having a game plan increases your success. Strategy doesn't matter if you share it with everyone. Keep silent until you're ready to act. Disquiet. Once you find the obvious problem, the solution will be equally obvious. And don't make any sudden moves is the dark one. 26, acceleration, full speed ahead. zippity doo -dah. compassion. This one is compassion. Oh, my cats are knocking at the door for their treats. Having compassion for someone isn't really about them at all. It's about finding peace for yourself. 28 is intimidation. Yeah, intimidating the shit out of that ice cream cone. Wow. And then we have curiosity. Looky here. Uh, there's another hello with that nose, Pinocchio. Healthy curiosity is a good thing. It's what drives exploration and invention. The desire to expand your sphere of knowledge keeps you enthusiastic and engaged with the world, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to curiosity about other people's private lives, consider how much you really need to know. Okay, so there's protect your privacy, choose carefully what you share in public, and dark, don't poke your nose into things that aren't your business. Well, that is very adequately illustrated, I will say. Victory. Victory over a teddy bear. Tough love. And the last one is wish. More tentacles. Hmm. The light of that one is you do get more than one wish, but lose, use them wisely. And the dark is if a wish goes awry, take some time to understand it before you wish again. And then right after that, it says, L'oracolo de Nicoletta Ciccoli. So something, there was a little bit of a misprint there. That line got printed there. But you know what? I don't care. This is a lovely deck. And it is different. You know, a lot of Los Carabeo decks are very, um, they look like they're quickly produced, the Tarot in particular. Um, you can tell the Los Carabeo because there will be four, sometimes six languages, four, five, six languages. Um, they have the name of the card in all these languages. Um, and the artwork can look like it is slapped together. So this is a high quality oracle deck from Los Carabeo. I really love the meanings. The images are gentle and lovely. And I, I feel like it would be well worth the investment to um, spend some time learning the meanings of these decks and reading and looking at the pictures. Um, it is relevant. It's pertinent. It seems to be just really um, a good deck for the times and I'm going to be spending more time with it here thank you so much for sticking around I'm going to go give my cats their heckin treats because they're knocking at the door so I put up every videos unboxing videos god damn I can't speak English today I'm putting up new boxing videos every Monday and Friday Tarot on Monday Oracle on Friday I think <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. Happy New Year. Um, although you probably won't be seeing this for, for, I don't even know. I don't even fucking know. I don't care. Happy New Year. Good to see you. I think I probably need to stop shooting videos on this low pressure kind of headachey day because I'm very, very fuzzy. <laughs> so thanks for sticking around <laughs> through my brain fog. I will see you soon. Thank you for liking and subscribing and clicking your notifications and all that stuff. And I have more, more, much more content to come. This is the Zen Witch. Glad to hang out with you. Blessed be.